Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Like most military dictatorships Allah Pakistan has a dismal human rights record For years the people of Pakistan have suffered humiliation and widespread violations of their civil and political rights Violence against women and minority groups has been endemic in a system prone to persecution and witch hunts. But Pakistan's involvement in America's war on terror has given these violations an entirely new dimension. International human rights organizations claim that the war has given the military government in Islamabad an effective smokescreen to authorize arbitrary detention, torture, and has led to the adoption of a sinister new tactic in dealing with dissent. State-sponsored kidnapping. The Pakistani government has flatly denied the accusations, but in recent years, hundreds of people have just disappeared. They are believed to be in the custody of Pakistan's intelligence agencies. Some have surfaced in Guantanamo Bay. Others are not so lucky. They remain missing in Pakistan. <laughs> We know that about two-thirds of the people in Guantanamo Bay were handed over unlawfully by Pakistan to U.S. custody. There are numerous people who have disappeared in various secret sites around the world. And there are many an unknown number of people who have disappeared in Pakistan itself. So it is not possible to give an exact number, but every one of them is one too many. This is just a novel. This is just a novel. This is, this is not a... this is a lie. What is? This Amnesty International is lying. Now, this is in the vast array of human rights violations that we have documented in Pakistan. This development is a new one. We know that disappearances as a form of law enforcement is something that has been introduced to Pakistan post the war on terror, which means that the United States has had a, um, a, well, a, 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 an absolutely crucial role to play. These are not these are pictures, just pictures. No, they you tell me, no. Stories with real people. Then. No, no. This listen, listen. What is happening? Listen, what is happening? Persons like uh, NGOs and like you who are exploit the things. These persons normally go for terrorism. They are, they run away from their houses. They join some organizations. They disappear by themselves. But behind the pictures exist real human stories like that of Amina Masood, a 42-year-old college teacher and mother of three. Her husband Masood went missing two years ago and has not been seen since. An engineer by profession, Masood was a born-again Muslim preacher, but Amina insists he was not linked to any political group. She says she knew instantly that he had been abducted by intelligence agencies. I was assuming it from the beginning because uh, those were the days when every, the newspapers were full of news like this. The army was like picking so many thousands of people of like um, that kind of um, appearance and they were not concerned if they were picking up the right people or the wrong people. All they had to do, they had to please Washington and they had to please, you know, Bush and Blair, that was the real purpose of our government. If anything, anything wrong happened to Masood, if, if any damage to his health would have come, I'm not going to forgive. As long as I'm alive, I'm not going to forgive. I'm going to ask those people who are responsible for it. And why, why such a good person is tortured, why such a good person is picked up and kept in illegal custody? And the family doesn't even know. The children doesn't even know why and why our father and when and where and for how long. It's a series of question marks. 
I must find him at all costs. I must find him wherever he is. I must snatch him back. From that day onwards, I, I never rested. Though no government official would help her, Amina has worked tirelessly to find her husband. She formed a joint action forum and brought together hundreds of families like hers to protest the illegal detention of their relatives. But when they tried to protest outside the headquarters of Pakistan's military establishment, they were told to go home or face dire consequences. Hey, sir, why? Yaseen Sahib, give me one good reason. One. When they persisted, the protest was broken up. Many were arrested, including Amina's 16-year-old son, Muhammad. <laughs> daughter of the nation is that what i deserved was that such a big crime to protest to ask about my husband that when he is going to return or what crime he has done at least i should know what crime he has done why he has been kept away from us do we have no mercy rights Yes, these are baseless. These are, so no, no, these are uh, exaggerated. Uh, exaggerated. Yes. Not baseless. I am saying, you are saying the word baseless. Or not? I have not used the word baseless up till now. You are using the word baseless. I am saying these are exaggerated. Pakistan has an extensive intelligence apparatus, a security apparatus. Right down to the neighborhood level in Pakistan, you have... Um, intelligence agency monitoring uh, this is a fact of life in pakistan there is no way around this and i think that we are far beyond the point in any analysis of pakistan or even um, in any sort of cursory uh, basic look at pakistan to to deny this no one denies this even the military doesn't deny this uh, they are very clear about the fact that they have that sort of presence